All right, guys, June 28th here, moving right along through the year. So anyway, I see in the chat, uh, Gregory, you got something? Go, uh, go ahead and... Uh... Okay, so it's continuation of last week, and uh, I haven't touched base with Michelle yet, but I wanted to know, this is, this is the overall thing. On July 18th, we're having a tech day at City Club. And attendees range anywhere from 40 to 60 uh, established businesses. Now, I just finished attending the IMN, which is a big investment conference held in Dana Point. And no one had anything on Michelle. It was like, I'm walking around waiting for someone to pop up like something like a, re a review and uh, nobody was there. And I was like, and I talked to people about web evaluation. And I have about five or six good leads. I have to get them to you uh, who are interested in knowing more about web evaluation. So here's my plan is that uh, within a, a short while we get a, we can take either you can take your four minute and cut it down to 30 or 45 seconds what Michelle needs. So we still within the parameters of what Michelle has to offer with Revealio then I can center the image, which is off my business card. So I want to take that to the conference on that on the 18th and start showing it off because the room is going to be filled of tech savvy people, one, and two, businesses looking for tech to, to advance their business, of course. I mean, the bottom line is to expand the business using tech. So that's my, my point is that I want to um, hijack because this is not on the list. I went through the presenters. The majority of them are talking about cybersecurity. Uh, the others are talking about uh, the various ways of using video. And, but no one is, has, no one on the list is doing VR or, all, or, or alternative reality. And even though we have two alternative reality producers in our club membership, they're not anywhere seen on the panel or in the discussion. So huh. that's my, um, my plan is to do a hijacking with, uh, with, with Revealio. And, and then, like I said earlier, Revealio is the bridge. You are the final destination to get people to. And the video I like that I would, I would like to see from you, but you know, this is your decision. You, you know more of this than I do, is the one where, where you have the volcanic graphics in the background. Okay. That I, I I I looked at that graphic and I looked at Dean Kane, and I I gravitate that the one with the volcanic thing is much more enticing. You mean, um, you mean the one with the burning the one with the burning car? Right. Well, I don't know if it was it a burning car. Yeah. Okay. But 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 the human Kane because the thing is that even though we're here in downtown L.A., celebrities at our club are not, how would you say, they're not on a high profile. Now, yeah. Celebrities show up at our club here and there, and it's not like everybody's Google Gaga about them. Okay, hey, fine, you know, someone just stepped in, and he's, he was a star on this movie, and this guy over here was, a, was and we just, had the, we just had a guy named Dixon uh, who was in some kind of TV series, and uh, my picture there is on, the, is, on the, is on my Facebook profile. He's my picture for this short for this time and again it was like nobody was falling head over heels to to reach this guy and once he didn't have like a a whole hive of people around him. a few people here and there you know what i'm getting at yeah yeah absolutely that's why i was thinking that i would like to approach more taking that four minute video that you <clears> have <throat> to a nice concise 30 40 for 35 or 45 seconds but here's the here here's the hook on my card it says, as Kevin O'Leary says, know your numbers. In, out, how much? Yeah. That's out of my card. It says, see my picture, see me with Kevin O'Leary at my Facebook. And then I have my Facebook point. Uh -huh. So what I was driving at was, is to start off with that, with, with some voiceover or maybe your whatever, whatever voice we have. So you, as Kevin O'Leary says, know your numbers, there's a picture of Kevin O'Leary and me, and then fade to your video. And that's my, that's my hook and my introduction and then get them to look at it. Like I said, 
I went around the room of all these wealth managers and advisors, and a lot were very warmed up to the idea of of the web evaluation. Um, okay. So we have some. Anyway, you saw Courtney Smith came out. He got you yesterday, mm-hmm. and that came out of a conversation just that morning when we had we had our one on one about where's my trading, where's it going, and what you're going to do about it. Yeah. And and like I said, I, I back thinking about my three days at, at Dana Point. Uh, I think we're on the right track. It's just a matter of developing the right hook. And and that's my celebrity connection is the Kevin O'Leary thing because he's well respected in the in, in, in the finance and money field. And mm-hmm. um, I'm approaching business owners. So awesome. they, um, they tend to look up to the sharks. So there it is. Uh, okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll find out from Michelle what, what format she needs and all that for the video. And then I'll see if I can get that to, uh, get that over to either you or, or to her or whoever needs it. And, uh, well, I'm not good at video editing, so it's going to be like a complete package. So, Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that part. I just okay. need to figure and, out, you know, like what format and all that. Okay. I can get it to. Right. And then my picture, my picture with Kevin O'Leary opens up the video. So I have to send you the picture. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sounds all right. Good. Someone else. I did my turn. Bye. <laughs> all right. Who wants to pop out next? All right. For uh, for those of you that were on, I guess it was Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't even remember at this point. The days are all merging together. But we anyway, we did a uh, another Kartra training this week, and again, it was kind of similar to the first one. It's kind of more of an overview because I think a lot of people are just getting in, just getting started. So I did another overview, and I'm not really sure what happened to the first one. I maybe we didn't record it. But anyway, we recorded the one from this week. It was a really good overview, like a walkthrough, start to finish, kind of through Kartra. And I'll be putting that up. And that'll go up in the members area. And then you guys, you know, for any of you that are are looking at Kartra or trying to figure out if you want to get it or, you know, what's involved with it, that take a look at that. It's a pretty good kind of under the hood view of what all is there and how it all kind of merges together really really seamlessly and uh, you know another thing we've got we've got several you know different video people providing video like Michelle has her augmented reality video which kind of makes your brand come alive and uh, see I got that this time come alive I'm getting it (laughs) so uh, so anyway, you know, it's all really cool tools. And another member, uh, Gary Howarth, is he's got a thing that's a it's kind of like a video email system for salespeople. And basically, you know, it, it's it's really kind of like what Kartra does, but it puts it into just an email system for them. Like if the you know a salesperson doesn't want to get into Kartra and create all that stuff and build websites and all that. They just want to be able to communicate with clients one-on-one and be able to follow up effectively and close more deals. So that's kind of what Gary's system focuses on. And in a discussion with him over the last couple of weeks, we started talking about how to make that more of an interactive video. And he is doing some adjustments and I think he's going to, Sounds to me like he's going to be able to pull this off to where the video, you could send a video email that was kind of a welcome message, and the video can actually ask a question. And as as you guys know, a really good salesperson does not show up with a pitch. They don't show up with a formalized script and read it off. What they do is they show up in person or you know, however they do it on the phone, whatever it may be. And the first thing a really good salesperson is gonna do is gonna start asking questions. The questions, the reason behind the questions is, and, and I'm not talking about questions like how's the weather. You know, I'm talking about questions of, uh, they call them probing questions, finding out what's paining them, what they really want, what they really need, what's important to them. And that's what we're going to be able to, that's what we're trying to be able to do with Gary's video system. 
is short welcome uh, video that basically asks some sort of opening question, you know, based on the particular needs of this industry. And based on the answer, two buttons will pop up or three buttons, however many options there'll be to the question. Typically, you want a, either a yes or no question or a, or a multiple choice question. So they can, you can have the buttons and they can self-select for what they want to do. Like, for instance, in the real estate market, you know, hey, thanks for coming to our real estate site. Uh, we cover every need. Tell us, what are you interested in doing? Buying a house or selling a house? And now you got two buttons that pop up, buy and sell. They click on that and now you know exactly what they want so you can speak their language. It's following the ACT program exactly through video all automatically. So the idea here is to take a salesperson that knows how to sell your product and that might be you, you know, if you have sold your product for any, any length of time, you probably know what all these are. You know all the options, all the variations, uh, all the different needs of different people. So this will be really easy. You know, you just come up with that, that roadmap, that blueprint, and then you make the little short videos and you just plug them in. You know, so you make a video for the welcome, then you make a video for the two or three options, and then once they hit those, then another question. And you just keep doing that until you get to the end. And I think you guys will see, just like in real life, the person by answering their own questions will develop a huge demand and desire for the product. And based on their questions, you can kind of identify any objections that they may have. You can eliminate that before going to the next question. This is going to be a game changer. This is going to be a really, really powerful system to convert people. So if you can imagine the difference between a normal webinar where you're just talking and you're not listening, this is a video that listens and answers questions based on what the other person is interested in. Like I said, that is a game changer. If, uh, you know, if you put that sort of a system in play in your business, I would not be surprised to see your conversion ratios like tenfold because most people's conversion ratios suck. Uh, quite honestly, they, I've seen a lot of them that are zero, you know, they're, they're just not doing things right. They're piling uninterested people onto a webinar and they're talking for, you know, an hour before they even make an offer. And generally half the way through, you still don't have any idea what the hell they're talking about. They're losing people left and right because they're not talking about what's interesting to the person. So imagine replacing your webinar. Imagine replacing your 90 minute webinar with a 30 minute sequence of interaction with a person speaking directly to what they're interested in. Imagine what your conversion ratio would do. So that's a system that is currently being developed and it's not very far out. It's, we, we actually had a version of it uh, in, inside the Dominator membership <clears throat> that I was working with a company that was developing it and they kind of fizzled out. They dropped the ball. So it was a great idea. I was really bummed when they, you know, when they didn't follow through and Gary's going to come through and follow through with it. He's going to deliver us this, that system. So that's going to be totally awesome. I can't wait to get that in play and be able to have that for the ACT members. Because that's going to really, like I said, that if ever there was a game changer in online marketing, that's it. You know, that's going to take the conversion ratios of top producing salespeople and allow anyone to automate that process. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm as excited about that as I am about Kartra. And, uh, you know, one thing I want to tell you, anybody that has jumped in, I know there's some little frustrations with Kartra because it's not perfect. Nothing we're going to get is going to be perfect. There's always going to be little glitches here and there. Uh, all of the ones I've seen so far, 
you know, realistically, they're, they're pretty minor in the scheme of things. When you think about the base of what Kartra is doing for you, and there might be, you know, some small inconveniences in the way you design with it and all that kind of stuff. I think it, either the value of the base of the program well outweighs any of that stuff. So we just got to make little workarounds and, and get through it, get, get with it. One thing I did notice, I hadn't really looked at this until I did the training, but I, I looked at the analytics fund. I usually don't, you don't look at a lot of analytics stuff with my own projects, but I was able to look at my own analytics now because Kartra is tracking all the opt-ins and everything. And across my site, I've got several different opt-ins going. Across my site, just on average, was a 24% conversion on opt-ins. Now, that for me is phenomenal because on my past sites, I know conversions on opt-ins were probably maybe 1% at most and probably more realistically fractional percent. So to go from 1% to 24%, that's like, wow, that, that is like hitting the nail on the head. <laughs> so anyway, it, th there's a lot more to it than Kartra. I'm actually using acts now in my own marketing. So that again has a lot to do with it too. When you, match the message to the market, magic happens. And that's really what ACT is all about. So uh, for those of you, some of you guys are in the Apprentice Program. The Apprentice Program is working really well. This time around, I think we've really nailed it down. Focusing out of the gate on the big idea and just knocking that down within the first week or two is, is really, pushing people forward. It's really advancing. Last year when we ran the apprentice program in the old format, there's, I don't, most of the people that went through last year, I don't think too many of them, if any, actually ever even got the big idea complete. You know, I don't think anybody landed on an actual big idea. Maybe one or two people actually got to that point. This time we've gotten to that point in the first part of the first month. So huge difference in the way I've reformatted the apprentice program to drive us to the first step of right into the big idea. You know, whether you've done all the steps to analysis or not, you've got me there helping you to, to actually develop, you know, the big idea. We've streamlined it. We've got a form that, that really forces the information. And everyone I've worked on so far when when the apprentice fills out the form and gives it to me, every case so far, I've had all the information I needed to actually form and craft a big idea for them. So that again, that's, that's another really big positive move. It's the way we're, the way we're fast tracking right into the big idea. Because the big idea really is the output of the analysis. You do the analysis so you can create the big idea. So we're getting right to it. We're cutting through the chase. Too many people, I think, got caught up in the minutia of the analysis and they got, you know, the good old fashioned analysis paralysis and just couldn't move out of there. And the thing about that, the thing I want you guys to understand about analysis is a lot of it is common sense. A lot of it it doesn't need to be churned in data. A lot of it is, is intuition and common sense, if that makes any, any sense. Uh, <clears throat> so many people get stuck in the data and the tools that they're throwing common sense out the window. And, and the common sense part of the analysis can fast track you really quickly to be able to get to the big idea and knock that out. You know, once, once, you're, once you have the big idea behind you, and you've got that, that's kind of the spearhead of your whole campaign. That's really identified what's important to your avatar. That's identified the outcome, the desired outcome, and it puts it into a way they've never heard it before. So once you get that, now you know what your campaign is about. So the next thing that we're doing, and this is what we're, we're transitioning to right now, is the offer. 
So the whole key here to fast tracking a, a campaign is to get the front end locked in and then get the back end locked in and then you fill in the middle. So it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Perry Belcher's fishbone. You know, you get the skeleton out there and then you start putting the meat on it. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're putting the head and the tail out there and then we're going to fill it up. So really easy to do too when you have it in that format because you know where you're coming from and you know where you're going to. And now you're just building the bridge to get them there. So every time I've personally worked on a campaign and I wasn't clear on the front and the back, it was a nightmare. It took a long time, never felt right, and just it was just clunky. And when we put the front and the back together, it just goes smooth as glass. We know exactly where we're going. We know exactly what objections we're overcoming. We know what points we have to make. And it truly crafts the story. You know, a lot of you have heard how important your story is. And I got to tell you, you don't have just one story. You have whatever story fits what you're doing right now. So when you create a new big idea and a new offer, you're going to have a new story. So you don't have just one story. If you come up with just one story and you try and build your business around one story, you're probably going to fail. Because every time you change, you know, the story has to change with it. So it matches. The story has to be relevant to what your avatar is interested in. So when you change markets, you change products, you change big ideas, you change avatars. And, you know, your success is going to be built around the more segments you can serve. You know, the idea is to get one down so you can serve one segment, one avatar, one need, and make that profitable. And then you replicate that. You take a step to the side. Say, okay, what's the next avatar we can serve with the same product, almost the exact same campaign, just slightly tweaked to address their needs, address what's important to them and their, their desired outcome, because it's probably just slightly different. So, and again, your story might change slightly to match whatever it is that's important to them and their outcome. So hopefully that makes sense. And that's where we're at now with the apprentice program is we're working on the, on the tail. We got the head done, you know, big ideas out front. Now we're working on the tail and then we'll start, start adding some meat to his bones because <laughs> we want a fat fish, don't we? <laughs> We don't want these little scrawny, anemic looking fish. <laughs> You're going to go fishing. Let's get a fatty. <laughs> All right. So who, who wants to come out and, uh, and uh, ask away? Michelle, are you here? Can you jump on? I'm in Nebraska right now, so I've kind of been away from stuff. I've been, I talked to Michelle last night. So what do you think we should, I was actually going to see if we could, you kind of answered my questions and what you were just talking about, but um, Michelle, do you want to ask him more about the offer or, or the, um, the other thing we talked about last night? Well, John, I think, uh, I, I mean, I, I need some time to kind of figure out how to get, my head around the offer i've been in the weeds trying to get this affiliate program figured out because like i said yesterday i have people begging me to become an affiliate like right now because they're so excited about this and they want to make money by showing anybody else so i've got like about uh 20 to 30 people on hold because i wanted to get cartridge affiliate program up and running um so with that I, um, even though you and you've been helping me with my big idea towards my target market, which would be video marketing companies, um, I actually feel that maybe Sue and I could probably bang out a fairly easy uh, push to the affiliate as soon as I know that it's fully operational. I've got my products in place. Um, we're uh, we're realizing there's a little bit of confusion with the Kartra affiliate program. FYI, um, when you sign up to become a Revealio affiliate, you actually get an email from Kartra not Revealio, um, and, and there's no indication in that email that you received from Kartra that it has anything to do with Revealio, so there's a little bit of confusion there, And uh, but it turns out it's because Kartra is itself a huge referral marketplace, 
That's what I was thinking when you yeah. were saying that. Yeah. So now, okay, I'm like, okay, now that I'm understanding <laughs> that, now I have to figure out how to still provide my new affiliates with clarity on how to move forward and move forward quick because, again, they're out there demonstrating and people are flipping out over Revealio, so which is a good thing. Yeah. So let me just kind of address that scenario first, just so you got my kind of view on, on how I think you should approach that. Please. I think you're right. I think uh, Kartra has like a clearinghouse of all affiliates. Like everyone that has Kartra has the ability to promote the products to all the Kartra members, which is really cool. It's kind of like, you know, it's a, it's a clearinghouse of affiliate offers. So that's awesome. So as soon as your offer is in there, it's available for anyone to sell. So, you know, again, that's really cool. When they give you the, the button so people can sign up to be your affiliate, what that is, that is going to put them into a mailing list for you. So you want to tag those people as your affiliate. So then you can now communicate. You can create an automated sequence yeah. that will send them a welcome from you you know, thank you for, you know, for signing up specifically for the Revealio affiliate through Kartra. And then you can send them all of their links. You can send them access to your marketing materials. And that's the most important piece for any of you guys that are going to work with affiliates. Affiliates are a really fickle bunch. <laughs> I'm telling you, they really are. They, their livelihood depends on selling stuff. So if you don't have your shit together and you get them in and they bomb a campaign or you don't have it ready and it's not like smooth as glass for them, that'll be the end of it. You'll get a, it's a one shot deal. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got your offer in there and you give them good, you know, good big ideas up front, good ad copy, good graphics, a good sequence for them to go ahead and make money which you've got to be able to do that first. If you can't drive traffic to your own offer and make money with it, then your affiliates can't either. And so, that's be really, really important for them. I, I agree. I 100% agree. That's what yeah. I'm trying to get in place right now. Them just making sure that I've got full on flow uh, from, from point of like demonstration where affiliates are out there demonstrating. Uh -huh. to where they send somebody in and then, then that person lands on a page that sort of makes sense, you know, and they, they go straight into being able to make an offer or make a decision on the buying if, if, if that's what they want to do because they've just seen it firsthand. Yeah. Um, anyway, Sue, do you have questions? Um, yeah, well, I wanted to clarify, like, for there's different avatar, uh, affiliate avatars. <laughs> so there's the ones that are just, you know, my sister Kathy that knows nothing about affiliate marketing, and she, she wants to tell people about it and be an affiliate and make a little extra money. So that's one. And then you've got, like, what you're talking about, John, which is the professional affiliate marketers, the big yeah. bags. Then you've got, then Michelle, her, her main avatar she's going after now is video marketing companies. Um, so last night, I'll just kind of tell you, last night I, I went in to uh, the page that um, we created for Revealio to become an affiliate, and I clicked on it, and it was funny because I tried to put in my, my email that uh, I already am, uh, I have Kartra, and then I, you know, so I was already, it says, oh, the email was already taken, and I was like, what is this? I don't understand that. So I came up with a completely new email. And I went through the system as a, a brand new person and it only talked, talked about Revealio. And then when I, so if you already are in Kartra, it doesn't allow you to be a, I don't know if this makes any sense to go straight to be an affiliate. You have to log into your account and then go in and search for the Revealio to um, find it. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it, it actually does. And, and that totally makes sense to what Michelle was saying is, all the affiliates like if you're a Kartra member you're already an affiliate of everyone that adds to the marketplace so you have to search for it so I wonder if there's so what you what you probably need to do is you probably just need to figure out what is the link to the landing page for your affiliate offer inside Kartra because they're oh. like once they're signed up they're already an affiliate Yes. So they just need the links right directly to your, your Kartra affiliate offer inside Kartra. 
Yeah, because when you go in, when I went in through my already a Kartra account, I had to search for Revealio, and then you go through the same the questions. You know, you you go through signing up as an affiliate with Revealio, but you have to go search for it. So yeah, that's. that's yeah, so I I think they probably just have not done a really good job of of creating the the control panel for that yet. Oh. I think that's probably where we're at. But I think that's the process is figuring out what are those links for you to be able to send someone direct and, you know, outside them going through that process. Cause you don't want them to have to go through that process. That's too clunky. You, yeah, want, to, I have to, yeah. you want to be able to say, Hey, you know, if you're already in the Kartra database, if you're already a Kartra customer, you're already an affiliate of us. Here's the link to go to our page and get our, our affiliate material. You yeah, know, well, you actually have to sign, you have to sign up for Revealio's affiliate too, because I had to go yeah. through and answer the questions we came up with. Yeah, gotcha. so, so John, yeah, so she's just saying that as a Kartra, once you log in and create an account within Kartra, it ends up like opening up, you're like in their container now, and inside of their container are all these different companies within the marketplace. You're yeah. not an automatic affiliate of anybody until you apply to each individual. Yeah, company. that... That makes sense because I was wondering about that because I, you know, I set up the affiliate on, on some of my programs that I put in some of my products. And then all of a sudden I started getting signups as affiliates and I'm like, how the hell are these people signing up? I haven't even made a sign up page for this yet. And wow. Apparently they're, they're coming from within the Kartra system because I'm listed in the marketplace. Okay. Uh, so I think, I think that's what's going on. Yeah. Well, anyway, we wanted to let you know that it's a very, a little bit confusing to newbies. I call them noobs. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're going to do, I'm going to, I know I'm going to actually create a few videos so that as soon as they apply to become a, a, a Revealio affiliate, they're going to go to a success page. And on that success page, I'm going to have a quick little video explaining that you just signed up your, your A now uh, in the Kartra system, but you're, you know, you need to click on that link that you received an email on so that you can go into Revealio's marketplace because okay. I don't need them to spend any time going to anybody else's marketplace. I need to go straight into mine. Yeah. Exactly. Find, the, find the product that they want to push and then uh, grab that link real quick. So yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I I totally agree with that. I think that's I, I should probably do the same thing. So I'm glad you're blazing this trail because we're all going to want to follow it. <laughs> I know. And so then Sue and I, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, of course, like what's the quickest path to cash. I've got like these 20 people that are like actually withholding money to purchase their Revealio because as soon as they do, they want to then turn around and share it with others so that they can get their Revealio more or less paid for. So Sue came up with this concept of five for free. So if you just refer five friends to become affiliates, um, then you're going to have your Revealio paid for free, even uh, on the monthly subscription model that we just are rolling out, which is yeah. a really good concept. You know, is it just they have to sign up affiliates or they have to make sales? Because you want to make yeah. sure it's sales. Yeah, so if they sign up uh, or if they get five people to purchase a Revealio under their affiliate code, then their reveal, Revealio becomes free. Okay. Yeah. And make, make sure they have to maintain five. Because they might sign up five one month and then they all cancel out and then, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, again, then then their Revealio is not going to be paid for. So. Yeah, yeah that, that, you just make sure that you put that out there. You have to maintain five active accounts. So kind of, I think that's what we're thinking of doing, a little quick campaign to our hot and ready uh, people who want to be affiliates, the five for free kind of concept. Um, to yeah, get, oh, that, that's yeah. a great idea. Because that's really like a 20% commission, you mm -hmm. know, that's, yeah. that's perfect. Okay. Well, that's kind of where we're at. We're going to get these uh, little gaps filled in the affiliate program. And then we're going to create this little campaign while we continue in the back of our heads, work with you with that big idea for the video marketing company. So. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah. Make sure too, that when you guys start, start filling out your, uh, your offer sheets, I really urge you to go in and watch the video, the irresistible offer video. Mm -hmm. I actually watched it again myself so I could create the new worksheet for it. And I'm like, damn, this thing's really good. <laughs> it's good. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, you know, when I made the sheet. So everything was down there 
And I'm like, wow, this I I really nailed that thing down. And <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so, so anyway, that'll really help you. You know, watch it, pause it, fill it out, watch a little more, pause it. Just you know, let it let it be your guide. It'll really help you when it comes to the offer part. So, uh, Lewis wants to know anything new in SEO. Um, you know, I've been hearing all kinds of probably unsubstantiated rumors, but nothing really that I've seen or actually got reports on anything that that has radically changed. Uh, a couple of tools that uh, that I can share with you guys. One of them, if you're looking for like keyword research and keyword variations, uh, this works for SEO and also for for any kind of research, market research. It's it's kind of funny. It's called Keyword Shitter. So KeywordShitter.com, you can put a keyword in and it will run for like hours, and it will pull. I mean, it'll pull up tens of thousands of keywords that are all related to that particular keyword. So uh, so yeah, that looks that looks like it. You got the link in there. That's a cool little tool to play around with. The other one. Uh, that I just purchased. It's it's kind of expensive if you're not doing a lot of client work. I think it's about 300 bucks a month, and I just got it for a couple of my clients. Uh, we've got a couple clients that, like, one of them's in the roofing space and one's in a, in a realtor space, and they're up against a lot of competitors but we felt that we were like kicking their butts, but we still weren't getting the ranking results. And we found this product called Cora. And what Cora does is it will take your domain and it will run a background search against all the other domains that are for a keyword that are ranking and it shows you the difference. It will show like what's the difference between the sites that are above you and, and your site. So like you could look at that and say, okay, every every site above me has a longer description tag, you know, or every site above me has, a, you know, a, a title tag that's got the keyword twice in it or, you know, whatever it may be, it will give you all the little nuances and variations of your on-page content. And then also it will give you the off-page as well. It will give you, you know, the linking data all that stuff for all the competitors that are beating you out. So that's a kind of a cool, uh, a cool little product. I I was just talking to the owner, the the developer of it, yesterday because when I when I purchased it and I put it on my desktop, I couldn't get it running. There was a little bug, a little glitch in it. So we got on Zoom, we worked it out, and now I'm able to actually get it configured and running. So. What I may do next week or, or maybe the week after, I'll show you guys some examples of what it is and how it works and the and the reports that it that it puts out. But looks to me like that, you know, that's gonna be a pretty good blueprint in how to rank above, you know, whoever's over the top of you. Um hi John. Hi. I've seen uh, the Quora tool uh -huh. in the Josh Basinski hangouts okay she he has been selling the tool uh, like uh, several months like when it started running the tool and they were deep debugging uh, is the right word debug yeah debugging and uh, there is a guy uh seo you have worked with or you know uh, it's a guy with a pair of glasses uh, that live in Korea. Uh, let me, let me. Uh, oh, is it Kevin? It's not Kevin, right? Let me check. A I don't think I don't think he's in Korea. No, I, he lives in Korea. I'm trying um, to think who. I'm trying to think who I've got in Korea. Oh, Kali Roof. Oh, Kyle! Kyle lives in Korea now. No, no, Kyle. Uh, sorry, forget about what I said. It's just <laughs> the the way I thought about how I remember things. So, uh -huh. yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, he 
he's uh he's been long time in the in the dominator membership so he's also developing a tool which is quite similar but only focus on on page okay and he also is selling and uh, or pre-selling or whatever the name in the josmanski hangouts and it does pretty not exactly the same like quora but pretty much the same just in on page seo okay yeah i'll have i'll shoot him an email and see what he's up to also he's he's working i think with dory they've got uh i forget the name of their their thing s s i a or SEO intelligence agency or something like that where they they've been verifying and debunking you know all the all the different ranking factors and all that um, anyway Erock from that group I don't know if you know him he is just about to release a really cool thing that affects the uh, the Google suggest and I've been working with him. We're, we're going to tie Rainmaker into it to actually enhance his tool to get the Google Suggest to work. So that's, a, that's another one that, uh, that should be coming out here before too long. So, uh, so anyway, cool stuff. But not really a lot, you know, as far as SEO that, that we don't already know, you know, as far as user experiences really important linking a lot of people say you know linking is coming back i think that's a farce I, linking never left you know the truth be told linking is still as important as it ever was it's just the fact if you want if you want your seo to stick you've got to get the user experience correct you know you've got to you got to beat out <laughs> you know the others cuz google is like a it's like a huge split test today you know, they're split testing everything. If you do a linking process and, you know, you show Google, hey, you should be at the top based on your linking, you know, that's great. They'll put you there. But it's a split test. It's temporary stay. You've got to prove that you deserved it. You know, they're not just taking it at face value anymore and looking at the links and say, oh, yeah, this guy belongs here because he's got, he's got the best linking profile. That, those days are gone. So, but it is still important, all that linking, everything about your authority, uh, your relevance, all of that stuff is still very, very important to get you a shot at the title. You know, if, if you don't have that, you won't even get a chance. And once you get a chance, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to blow it. So, all right. Anybody else? Any other uh stuff that anybody wants to discuss in in particular is there a time frame on that um video interactive video program you were talking about at the beginning of the call is there any expected time frame for that yet well we have the man himself has joined our call mr oh. gary howard hey gary i was uh, i was kind of telling everybody how excited i was about you know your your new shift there yes interactive video and it's like the answer to our prayers <laughs> <laughs> somebody had to do it i i let the cat out of the bag i'm sorry I, well you're not sorry i know you <laughs> stole your thunder <laughs> no 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 we're really excited about it and uh uh just need to make a, a couple of changes to, to what we're currently doing that are going to be minor, but it's really going to be as simple as creating a number of videos that uh, you want to put together in kind of a flow sequence for your sales. So if, if you want to direct people down a certain path, depending upon what their interests are, uh, you could have different questions that they would answer and then once they click on that, then it would take them to a new video, take them down a whole nother funnel. And basically it could guide them to directly what they're interested in and so that they're ready to buy from you. And uh, yeah, it's very you'll powerful. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning of this, uh, of this video, Gary. I gave them a full blown rundown. <laughs> How do you <laughs> <use it? laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, it, it really is exciting. And you know, John and I have talked about this concept for, gosh, over a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. And uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's fantastic. You know, yeah, it really on, is. A, on another note, uh, for you specifically, Gary, uh, this morning I was on a call with Emerson Brantley and Tim Johnson. I don't know if you know those two, but they're a couple of real powerhouses. Okay. In the IM space. Oh, nice. And Tim is like the ultimate salesman. He, okay. he like knows how to sell shit like nobody I've ever seen. Sounds and, like we need to get together. And, and one of his basic premises is that the dumber you are, the more you sell. So he, he like, tries, he dumbs everything way down when he's selling. He makes it really simple mm -hmm. and, and leads them to the only conclusion is they need to buy whatever it is. Right. He's a master at that. And Emerson is a master at copywriting of writing how Tim talks. Wow. What a team. Yeah. So those two have come together and they've built a program called Sold. S O L D, okay. kind of like my ACT program, A C T. Right. S O L D stands for, I forget the acronym, but it stands for all the stuff behind selling, all the mechanics and, and behind selling. Right. And they're basically going to be putting that out to get high end consulting clients. Okay. And doing referrals. And basically, they want me at the front end of their referral program for traffic. Okay, makes sense. And they're going to be looking for referral programs for all kinds of other providers of stuff. So I had mentioned what you're doing, mm -hmm. and how, it, how it segues into ACT. They're basically going to take everybody that they come across, and they're going to throw them into ACT as a prerequisite. Oh, that makes sense. So, because they don't want to work with anybody that doesn't really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And ACT is the perfect segue to take people that, you know, maybe are a little rough around the edges or maybe just flat don't know what they're doing and really need to. Mm -hmm. And it will educate them up to the level where these guys can take them up to the stratosphere. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be like a, like a cycle, you know, they'll send them to me first, I'll train them and send them back to them and then they can put them into all the providers they need and do the, all the done for you services and stuff. So it's going to be a really, really powerful combination. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. all the, all the vendors, I'm going to, I'm going to drag a lot of vendors along with that process. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I can see how our service would fit right in that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and how they're dealing with their people. Yeah, and, and I had mentioned it to him too. I said, hey, Tim, imagine imagine sitting down and blueprinting out your questioning sequence mm -hmm. and automating it so you only have to do it once. And he's like, oh, we got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So as good as he is, he is completely repetitive. Yeah, like every time well, repetitive he works. Yeah, he's got he's got the repetition down because he's figured out what works and he doesn't vary from it. Yeah. So, you know, he's got canned responses for every set of questions he asks and and it leads him right directly to a sale in every category. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter what they answer. Uh-huh. It still yeah. leads to the sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. So yeah, so that that they're pretty excited about it too. So oh, good, good. It's a it's a good move. I've I've, uh, I've done the market study for you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's an added bonus for uh, being in the ACT program. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah looking forward to uh, sitting down with you tomorrow and really hashing more of this out. Oh, cool. So, yeah, sounds good. A lot of fun. <laughs> so anyway, uh, to Gwen's question of when you think the system will actually be ready to release, what uh, any kind of ex expectation on that? Or are we talking a, a month out, two months? I, I, I'd say probably a maximum of a month. Okay, cool. I think everything could be arranged and in place and done 
by that time. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So there you go, Gwen. We're about a month month from countdown. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, hold me to that. You know, what's the date today? Twenty-two. So by the time August first comes around, there you um, go. We're we're going to be knocking at your is. door. <laughs> we're going to be knocking at your door. Some more, please. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. That's awesome. Good. All right. Anybody got any any other questions, concerns, any uh, anything you're up against? Discoveries, <laughs> challenges, <laughs> any of that good stuff. Nah, mine is just to get this <laughs> as quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that was another thing I was talking about. The uh, <clears throat> the key to speed is to get the head and the tail done. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the big ideas on the front and the offers on the back. And once you've got those two solidified, the, the centerpiece goes pretty quick. Yeah. The centerpiece becomes really easy because we know the story that we have to create. If we know the, the beginning and the ending, we know the story that, that has to fill it. Right. It's it's when we don't know where we're going and we don't know where we're starting from, then we have a lot of trouble. Yep. So right. that, that's very true of any marketing campaign. Knowing the beginning and the ending, if you can lock those down, then you can breeze through the midsection. Yeah. So yep. that's, that's the key to speed of implementation. If you want the fastest path to cash, that's it. Figure out Figure out your big idea and then figure out you know your offer and we fill in the middle you know at, at that point it's just a, fi a matter of figuring out how do we create demand and desire for the offer how do we really lock that in and then how do we get the head out of the way and answer all the objections yeah so it's that uh, seduce the heart and convince the head that's that's our whole goal of the centerpiece so Agreed. All right. So, anybody else? Last chance here. Last call out for. Uh, go ahead, Gregory. Okay. Uh, so I in in the process that everyone was talking, I was writing up the email to send to you uh, with the details. And the two main objective is July eighteenth for the big splash. For um for our, my, my project. And then the next big splash is in October at the pension convention with 5,000 trustees and CEOs and FDOs and all coming from around the United States. And I mean, I got good traction at IMN and I only got it. And, and, and the great part was out of maybe, well, actually the whole exhibit room, out of the whole exhibit room, I got to talk in depth I talked to everybody, but I got to talk to really end up to 50%. And of the 50%, um, there was a good half of that really send me into contact, put me in contact, send me the contact. So I took the business cards. And this time, usually I don't write notes on people's business cards out of respect. Uh -huh. But I had to. <laughs> if I didn't write that a note on that person's business card, I would not remember what did I talk about and who I'm going to connect to. Because some want to be connected to the trust, some want to be connected to you, and uh, some want to know about the PenCon, the, Pen, the pension convention in October in New Orleans, because they didn't even know about it. And these are wealth managers and advisors who need to get to trustees like myself on pension funds to know about what the next cutting edge technology and investments there are for pensions to increase their returns. Huh. Uh, I like so, that. I, I, pension yeah. convention, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I call it PenCon. So, yeah, it's a pension convention. So anyway, I'll send you the details and giving you the target dates, but July 18th is my big target date because that's the day of the CCALA um, conference, the tech, and that's gonna be like the testing ground to see how it goes over with, with this narrow, tight you know we, we got a nice focus target rich environment okay. um, awesome. and, and i'm also sending the flyer of who's there and then you can see uh, i know one company that does 
website evaluation, but they don't do it your way. Yeah. Uh, it's a company called SAP. I have no idea what it stands for. But the <laughs> bottom line is, you know, the, the thing is that, you know, I, I don't worry about the competition. I only worry about me making the best presentation. And if they like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. Yeah. So let's do, we'll, we'll do a AAA pre presentation. Thank you. All right. Well, cool. All right. Last shot. Anybody else before we wrap up for today? Okay, guys. Well, hey, have a, a great weekend here. Enjoy the weather. It's it's finally summertime. So uh, happy fourth. Happy fourth. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We won't talk before the fourth of July. So happy fourth to everybody out there. Blow something up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think hey. you'll blow enough up for all of us combined, John. Well, yeah, there you go. But you know, <laughs> don't be afraid to throw some back at me. <laughs> I'm a volunteer at a fireworks stand for the next four days, so maybe I can do something splashy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Okay. <laughs>